Hey, good morning, friends. How is everybody? Today is Monday morning. Welcome. Welcome to Monday morning. It's going to be an awesome week. I know you may be going through some things this week, but I'm praying that your week's going to be great and blessed and full of good things and uh, that you're going to just have more revelation this week, that you're going to have um, more solutions this week. You're going to have more creativity this week, more grace for the things that you need to do. Good morning, Heather Ann. How are you in Vegas? How's Vegas? Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. I got my Sarahs on. Good to see you guys. Um, so those are the only names. I can see I have more people watching, but I don't know who they are because it's, it only shows me who joined. So if I'm, if I'm ignoring you, I'm not ignoring you. Good morning, Nikki. Oh, how are you? I hope you have a great time at the workshop. Good morning, Kyle. How are you doing? Good to see ya. All right. Well, let's check. Oh, it's super windy and sunny in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Well, sunny's good. It's sunny here, too. Ah, yay. Um, so anyway, great to see you guys this morning. Just a couple things before we jump to our topic. Um, don't forget, we're going to start reading When Breath Becomes Air. That is going to be, we're going to start reading that on April 1st, which is, I believe, Saturday. So we're going to read that. If you don't have your copy yet, you want to grab that. Um, and then secondly, oh, she said, I'm so excited. The workshop is this week. I wish you wish you were. I wish I was there too. You're going to have a ball though. It's so fun. She's going to a communication workshop taught by Christine Kane, which I got to go to last year. It's about 75 ladies and it's just Christine Kane basically pouring out everything she just knows in her whole life. And um, I describe it as trying to suck the whole ocean through a straw. That's about how you feel for like three days afterwards. Um, but it's great. It's going to be really awesome. Um, so anyway, but the second thing is our Facebook Live class coming up. Part one is going to be Tuesday tomorrow at 630 so part one and part two are different. Part two is Thursday at 6.30, so you don't want to miss that. If you're going to be a part of that, send me your, your email address, message me, and I will send you the notes because there's actually notes, and the notes actually have stuff that I won't be covering in the presentation. So you'll want that. Um, it's going to be a fun class. We're going all the way from a global view all the way down to you and exactly step-by-step step and screenshots of what to do for Facebook Live and tips and everything I've learned in the last year. And the reason I did not do Facebook Live for a while, I wanted to, but everybody I saw was so perfect. Like their makeup was perfect, their hair was perfect, their setting was perfect, chandeliers. And, and I just didn't, I was like feeling really inadequate. And then one day I just did it. And so that is part of why I come to you often after workout. I don't Sometimes I don't have any makeup on is because I want you to know that you don't have to be perfect to go on Facebook Live. It's really just about your life and you might have kids running in and pets and all that kind of stuff and that's great that because that is you and that's real life and so it's okay to be real. So let's talk about success. Yesterday I put up this picture and it's just really been on my heart this concept that um, in the picture the one bunny has this um, above the ground, you can see this blooming, flourishing plant. It's all green. All the greens are big and tall, but the carrot underground is little tiny. And then, oh, I always have the perfect lighting. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you my secret to that. It's just window light. Um, and oh, thank you, Nikki. And then the carrot, the rabbit next to him had a, a little tiny stalk showing above the ground, but below ground there's a big carrot. And I wanted to talk to you about how sometimes we see success. And there is an appearance of success um, that we look at and we think, wow, somebody's really successful. But then when you start digging underneath and you find what's underneath, sometimes you can realize that, oh, not as successful as I thought. And this brings me, it, it you know, makes me think a lot when I think about this, about some friends that I have. And they are like in the prime of their lives. I mean, they have like the custom house. They have, uh, you know, built by an artist. They had this beautiful RV that just, you know, folds out. It's beautiful and gorgeous. Thank you, Carrie. And then um, also they have like the perfect luxury car and the business and everything. Everything, you know, dropping 500 bucks on a meal and everything looks perfect in and look successful and you know I would even envy them like wow they man they're doing good you know wow look at this car they're driving look at this but guess what recently I found out they're over a million dollars in debt over a million dollars in debt 
So we can look at something that looks like success, and then once we get digging underground, we realize it's not success. But I want you to tell you about this other guy. This other guy, he um, drives a 2014 Cadillac. Um, he bought it. He was driving an, an eight-year-old Cadillac before that, but he bought the um, this two-year. It's three years old now, Cadillac. He lives in a home that he bought in 1950s for thirty-one thousand dollars, and he um, goes to McDonald's every day and has a Coke, like five Cokes a day. You might know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Warren Buffett, the third richest man in the world. Drives a three-year-old car and lives in a house that he's lived in since 1955 in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, so let's talk about that. What I wanna say is that you can't always see success. We have a client who is, um, good morning, Patty, good morning, Roxanne, I saw you. Um, one of our clients is Jim Herbert, who is the, the Herbert family, who is the founder of First Republic Bank. First Republic Bank is a luxury bank here in Northern California, and they have clients like Thomas Keller and big name clients. Guess what he drives? He drives a Toyota 4Runner. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, it's like this guy, and they support like the San Francisco Ballet pretty much and everything, you know, but it, he drives a San Francisco, uh, a 4Runner. So I want to tell you right now, you cannot look at the fruit of success by what you see with your eyes because you can't see it because success is not what you see on the outside. Success is that you're digging in every day, that you're applying, you're teaching your kids every day to be good human beings and to love God and love people. People and have manners and you guys you're doing it every single day you're going to work every day and you're supporting those babies at home because they're depending on you to to go to work and to make the money whether it's flipping burgers or coaching football or taking pictures or whatever it is that is success the success is in the daily action the success is not the fruit that you see I mean for me I, I drive a 10 year old minivan you guys I would love to drive a brand new luxury car but I drive a 10 year old minivan but you know what it is paid for and and all three of our cars are paid for and we were able to buy our last car in cash and it's a nice it's a nice luxury car and we paid cash for it. That was the first time we ever did that. I see someone creeping up over my shoulder. <laughs> I wonder how many times that guy got kidney stones. What guy? The guy, the third richest guy in the world. Oh, because he drinks so much coke? That's true. <laughs> That's a good point, Livy. Don't drink coke, you get kidney stones. But anyway, the whole point is would I rather have all the things that look like luxury and look perfect and have a million dollars in debt or would I rather drive a 10 year old minivan knowing that it's paid for. That's, that's a super, that's a contrast. Which one is success? Which one is success? And let's move beyond the material things. The family that had the million dollars in debt, they're a broken family. And now they're separated and there's a single mom and working hard to provide for her kids. And you know what? It's like maybe at this moment where she's working hard to provide for her kids, maybe she's more successful than they ever were is this family that has the whole facade. I choose option B, yeah. So don't look at success from the outside. Look at success from what you're doing inside. What's underground? What is it that people can't see that you're investing every day? That's your success. What you're doing every day is your success. So I just want to say, keep practicing the things that you're doing. They're practice for your next opportunity. If you're wanting to speak and you go on and you speak every day, that's practicing for your next opportunity. You're wanting to sell oils and like Patty, I'm just thinking of Patty, and you're practicing every day. What does this do? And you're trying it out and you're learning in that. That's success. Keep going. That The things that you do every day are the successful things. It's not about what it looks like, you guys. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It all matters what's going on inside and the joy and the peace that you have in your life. Yeah, totally. Oh, good. Yeah, it's so right, Diana and Heather Ann. Thank you. That's beautiful. Yeah, keep what you're doing what you're doing. The success is faithfulness in the small because you can't have faithfulness in the big without faithfulness in the small things. So you just keep doing those small things. Keep working at it. Keep 
applying it with your whole heart and with joy and peace and, and happiness and laughter and faith and those things are gonna build and you're gonna see success in the end. So good morning, Sarah. I hope I see you all tomorrow um, night at 6.30 for the Facebook Live class. I'm just taking everything I've learned in a year and I'm giving it to you in like two 30 minute sessions. Good morning, Carrie. Car yeah, keep it real. Yeah, for reals, for reals. And Teresa, good to see you. I Thank you for all the hearts, Carrie. I love it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Oh, and I won't be on on, we usually do Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8.30, but I'm not going to do Wednesday because I'm doing Tuesday and Thursday night at 6.30. So those will be up on my page. You're welcome to watch them. So we won't have a Wednesday morning session. But I love you all. Have a wonderful day. May your minds be fierce and your heart strong and your spirits very kind today. And just have a blessed week, you guys. Love you. Bye.